हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एज यू नो माई नेम इज़ वका सईद टुडे वी विल सी द डिटेल्ड ओवर व्यू ऑफ कंट्रोल पैनल यूज इन द डी सी एस सिस्टम सो लेट स्टार्ट नाउ फर्स्ट वी सी द टाइप ऑफ कैबिनेट्स वी नॉर्मली यूज फॉर द जी एक्स थ्री हंड्रेड एक्सपी सिस्टम डिफरेंट पी एल सीज एंड डिफरेंट डी सी एस सिस्टम यूज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कंट्रोल पैनल डिपेंडिंग अपॉन देयर मैकेनिकल डायमेंशंस and the accessories required for their control system i will make a separate video on the designing a control panel and will discuss panels with the different dimensions in this picture first two cabinets are the dcs panel which we will say as system cabinet it is called system cabinet because it it contain controllers io modules network modules and power supplies required for these modules then in the next panel you see that isolator are present which are for the protection of analog signals from the field signal we name this panel as auxiliary cabinet 1 all the panel other than the system cabinet in which field signal termination are done are called auxiliary or marshaling cabinet next panel is the power control panel in which we normally make the ac dc power distribution for distribution of power supplies in the auxiliary and system cabinets and in the last you have seen the relay panel we name this panel as auxiliary cabinet 3 this panel contain relays and tvs for the field wiring of digital signal now we will see the system cabinet for the gx300 xp system first of all the name or model name of system cabinet is xp202x the normal size or dimension of the panel is 800 by 600 by 2100 mm in which 800 mm is the width 1600 mm is the depth and 2100 mm is the height of the cabinet normally the panel is with the ip rating of ip42 but it can be customized maximum cabinet weight will be 350 kg cabinet color normally used is light gray rl7035 but it can also be customized so let's see the detailed overview of system cabinet internally as the system cabinet is a double door panel first we see the front view of the system cabinet the first section in the front view of system cabinet is the power unit the power unit or power rack consists of four power supply unit these power supply are used as a two pair of redundant power supplies a pair of 24 volt 10 ampere redundant power supply can only provide supply to three rack of a system cabinet the second section on the front view of system cabinet is the io rack first model number of io rack in the gx300 xp is xp211 the number of slot in the io rack is 20 which is equipped with the controller dtm io module and power supply module maximum number of io rack in one system cabinet is 6 the third section in the front view of system cabinet is switches first the model number of switch is sup 2119 m it is basically a 16 port 19 inch rack mounted switch switches in the system cabinet is normally in redundancy mode the name of first switch we can say as uh, network a and the second switch as network b the fourth and the last section in the front view of system cabinet is fiber optic supplies cloyer it has three type of model sup a6 sup a12 and sup a24 the model number depend upon the number of fiber optic point this cloyer have so the number of fiber optic point will be 6 12 and 24 as per their name 
in this picture the fiber optic layer has 12 points similarly now we see the back view of system cabinet the first section we see in the back view is the ventilation box it is used to maintain the panel temperature and is used for the heat dissipation of panel equipments then in the second section in the back view of system cabinet is the power supply unit power supply unit consists of breakers tvs for ac dc distribution we will see it detail in power uh, distribution video then the third section in the back view of system cabinet is the io cage back the back side of io cage contain two type of terminal boards one type can be used for direct signal termination one type contain db25 connector with db25 cable that directly terminate on the relay board or universal board the terminal board you are seeing in this picture is direct termination terminal boards for analog signals or it can also be used for digital signals then inside you can see that there is also a power terminal uh, modules and also you can see there are uh, db25 connectors present on the back side of io cage then we have a uh, left to right trunking present on the back side of system cabinet this trunking is basically used uh, when we are cable laying after termination on the back side of terminal board from all the racks similarly at the end of cabinet we have a grounding strip for, uh, for grounding cable as we have a detailed view of a system cabinet you can now see some of example of auxiliary or marshalling cabinet usually in the field you can see following three type of auxiliary or marshalling cabinet for analog signals the panel mostly contain the fuse and unfused tvs on which we terminate our field signals and for digital signals the panel mostly contains the relays tvs on which we terminate our field signal and similarly for the third kind power cabinet in power cabinets you normally see breakers power supplies redundant switch for these power supplies and tvs for ac and dc distributions thanks for watching my video that's all from today video you can contact directly uh, with me on my email id or my phone number on whatsapp or you can directly comment so that uh, if you want any if you want to give any suggestion or any further question you can ask me directly thank you